Hello, hello. Mic check, mic check. All right, so it looks like we're good to go. Um, this is just a new video. I am going to create a new project. Remember, you want to do inches. The size I want is 8 by 10 for right now. That's 8 inches wide, 10 inches high. After that, I'm going to label it whatever project it is. I believe this is project number 10 that we're working on. Um, 10 filters. Okay. All right. So once I've created the new filters, I open my blank page. I'm going to import a new picture. I always like to start off like this. That way the background is already created right there and I don't have to create a new background and I can have it the same, the size that I wanted to have it. So now I'm gonna open up a picture. Let's open up a JPEG that I have already saved, whatever my original picture is. So last time I showed you how to um, drag and drop with the arrow. Another way that you can do it is you can copy and paste, okay? So you can select what you wanna use, press Control C or Command C, Go to your page and then go Command V and then it will pop up, okay? So I have my show transformation control selected. Now I can make it fit however I want to. All right, so I, I wanna cut that person off the edge and I wanna drag it to fit. So I'm gonna press Shift, pull up. That way I'm not changing the whole size, Shift and pull down. All right, so this is what I decided to do. The creativity is your choice, okay? It's up to you how you arrange things and what you use. My goal right now is just to teach you how to use the tools, okay? So once I get it like I want it, I press select. Now today's project, you guys are gonna be uh, using filters, right? Let me scoot over just a little bit, take that little edge out. Um, you're gonna be using filters. So basically filters are like special effects and they're real easy to do on this project. I literally want you to go through all of the filters and choose your favorite ones, okay? Now it's very important. Right now I don't have a layer selected. In order to work on something, you have to select it. So I go select my layer on my right hand side in my windows, all right? If this is not showing, you can always go to windows and press layers button. So now, but it's, it's usually showing, it's one of the things or tools you use the most of. All right, so from there I go to layers. Um, and these are all the different filters that you can use, okay? These are all different filters. So I want you to experiment with them, okay? This is a time, take the time. It should take you 15, 20 minutes. Uh, start with the filter gallery, because inside of the filter gallery, these are all different filters that you can use, okay? Uh, remind me tomorrow. These are all different filters you can use, okay? So the way that you do them is you click on the drop down menu, you click on the button, and then it's gonna add little special uh, effects. This one is a colored pencil effect. If I move the scrolls over, it'll modify and add different things to it, okay? So you don't know what you can do until you know what you can use. So experiment, experiment, experiment. Um, if you don't like it, press cancel. But one thing I wanted to show you is to change the colors over here. So let's say I wanted to make a different color scheme. Let's say my two favorite colors are purple, which is pretty accurate. I like purple and I like sky blue. So these are my two colors that I'm going to use for this demonstration, okay? So notice how I put both of these boxes in two colors, okay? I'm going to go back to filters, go to my filter gallery, and now notice how it used those colors as adding to the special effects. So with all of these sketches, it's just gonna use those two colors, okay? You can use black and white, black and gray. It's up to you. And every time I click on a different button, it shows me the different special effect, okay? So that's what I want you doing. I want you to go through all of these different filters, okay? So some of them, you, it doesn't matter what colors you have selected, it's gonna use the original colors on the picture, okay? So like these up here where it says artistic, it's just gonna use the original colors, okay? When you get to brush strokes, however, it's gonna just add like different painting brush strokes with the colors that you used, all right? Distort gives you like that glass effect. And just like we did with the other filter, you, can, you don't have to change the whole picture, you can change just different parts of the picture, okay? 
So I'm canceling it real quick just because I also want to show you not only are these filters right here, all of these different drop down menus are also filters where you can add special effects. OK, I like going to stylize because they have some pretty cool ones, specific ones, specific ones or specific ones. I like the oil painting filter gives it like that painting effect and you get to see the like demonstration of it. You can kind of zoom up and it, OK, let's say I like this and I want to keep it. This is one of the filters I want to use. I'm going to press OK and I'm going to turn it in. I'm going to go to file. I'm going to go to save as let's save it to my computer or you could really save it to your cloud. And right now it's saved as a PSD. So I'm a, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and save it really quickly just so I can have a saved copy of an editable version, editable, not editable, editable version. All right. But now I got to go back because I got to turn in one of these. Right. So I'm going to go to save as save to my computer and instead of saving it as a photoshop format i want to save it as a jpeg okay so i'm gonna go uh, this is project number 10 filters this is the first one i'm going to turn in so i'm going to save that press ok and boom i just saved one now let's say i go find another one i've looked through everything i like this distort one with the spear you get it and you can kind of oh you know what it still has my oil filter on there let's say i don't want to use that no more what i have to do i have to go back in my history so i go back in history and undo that and then i'm going to go to the spear filter and then from there i can like adjust it however i want to okay so i really want to do the twirl one let me do the twirl one so once i get here i do the twirl and this kind of twirls the whole picture it might run slow a little bit and let's say okay i like this one I press OK. Boom. This is one of the filters I liked. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to save as again, save to my computer. Make sure I save it as a JPG. Otherwise, the format will not upload to Google Classroom. Go to number two. This is my second one and I save it. And then at the end of the day, when I've done all five, I'm going to go back in Google Classroom and where you where you turn it in on Google Classroom, add it as an attachment and turn it in. Okay. Thank you for tuning in. Let me know if you have any questions.